All right. Hello, Squeak. We are here with Channing Fry. My name's Mahal, and yeah, we're just gonna get into some light questions. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So, of course, you played with the Cavs right. for a couple years, ended up winning a ring, and now you're retired with them, so, and I'm sure you're still very connected with them. Now, being retired, what does that feel like, and how are you helping them off the court to get another one? Um, you know, a lot of the guys that I was really connected with there have left other than Tristan. Um, I'm cool. He's my guy. Obviously, he's part of that 2016 team. Um, I think for our relationship, we just kind of stay in touch with that same group of, like, understanding how long the season is. Um, and when you have a young team, the highs and lows can't be high and low like that. I think you've got to tell them great teams don't lose three in a row. If you're losing one or two, what's happening? Do you need a hard practice? Right, just being that leader uh, behind the scenes. Um, and Tristan does a great job of that there, um, especially fighting through these injuries that they have with Evan Mobley. Um, and then for me, I don't even really feel retired all the time. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, you know, between home life, uh, working in, in Atlanta uh, with TNT and, and NBA TV, yeah. um, doing podcasts and doing things like this. I'm yeah. staying busy, but this is just how I live and how I love being a part of the game, so it's been awesome. Oh, I think that the community's feeling all of that love, oh, to be honest. You, I've been you, watching your you. podcast, talking oh, with Taylor man. Rooks. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. see it NBA all. Twitter live, yeah, a lot of shows. <laughs> um, no, and that's fantastic, thank so I'm you. glad that you're still very involved. Um, my next question, we're here in Paris, so I have to name drop. Yep. Uh, you've played against French legends like Tony Parker yep. and with coming up and coming French legends like Nick Batum, uh, Boris Dia. Yep. Um, Evan Fournier. Evan Fournier. Yeah. In all that time, have you picked up any French habits? Like uh, drinking, drinking coffee before yeah, games? Oh yeah, espresso, for sure. I have like one of those really expensive espresso machines. And they got you into that? Yeah, yeah, listen, it was, uh, I didn't, at first I was a, a black coffee guy, but now I'm an espresso guy. And then wine, um, and France is actually my favorite country. Paris is one of my favorite for cities. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just think, you know, French dudes are, you know, you can be like, oh, you're super French, right? And yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a term it's of endearment. Like it's it a bleeding culture. French culture. They but won't hide you it appreciate it. No, no, no. But you appreciate <laughs> it, right? Yeah. Uh, they're never in a rush. Uh, always, you know, styles on point. Uh, other than Nick Batum's style was kind of trash back in the day. <laughs> He's gotten a lot better. He's gotten a lot better. Um, <laughs> but just being able to play with those guys is awesome. And they love love basketball. All of them play basketball the right way um, and with like such a sense of pride. It's not just them or their team, it's their country. Um, yes, and I think that's part of, I mean, you can see that even here throughout yeah. the fans that are here. Basketball is very big here and it's only getting bigger. So, um, yeah. Um, okay, last question. More fun one. Yeah, yeah. Like you mentioned, you are in France, you yeah. are in Paris, and I, I saw that you're very into wine, yeah. and you're in the land of wine and cheese. So, who are you looking forward to sharing a glass with? Man. Uh, Star-studded events. Uh, so, I went to college with Luke Walton. Okay. So, uh, and, and JB is a good friend of mine. Um, so, probably Tristan, JB, the coaching staff of the Cavs, um, and then Tristan, um, Darius's jaw is wild, wired shut, so probably not him. Yeah, I mean, um, you could do like a little straw, little, a little, straw, little from sipping, the juice box wine. Sipping Bordeaux <laughs> out of a straw is, oh, God, We don't do that, we're classy no, now. Classy, yeah. Okay. No, 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 but uh, a bunch of the Cavs guys, just talking to them, um, just kind of picking their brain, talking hoops, you know. So college basketball's going on now, you know, so, so there's a lot to talk about. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, I appreciate and, you. And uh, I hope you have a nice time with yeah, your, oh, yeah. uh, that glass of wine.